Okay, so hi everyone. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay, um, my name is Desiree Luna, and um, first off, I just want to start by thanking everyone, the UP staff and mentors, Shiva and Jose Luis Vargas, for um, taking their time and putting it into the program. They put so much dedication into it for us and for also allowing me to be here where I'm standing today because honestly, I don't know where I would have been right now if it wasn't for this program. Um, I really appreciate every single thing you all, you all do for us from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> to me, EOP is about bringing low-income first-generation students from different backgrounds together to form one strong community so that we, all, so that we get all the resources we need in order to succeed. Um, it's about courage, finding your full potential within yourself, stepping outside your comfort zone, and about RAM, respect, responsibility, attitude, and maturity. EOP has helped me with a variety of things. It has helped me out academically by giving me so much knowledge about things I never knew about, and by providing me with resources and people I can go to who have been through many similar struggles in my life, I mean, in their lives as well as mine. Um, it has taught me to not judge someone or make assumptions about anyone because you don't ever know what they've been through. Um, the summer I got pushed to my breaking point. I got challenged and um, being surrounded by so many good people and good vibes like helped me really push through everything. Um, more people believed in me than I believed in myself when I first got here. And I never knew that being, that after being in the foster care system for 10 years, I would be in college and now I know I can make it through life and all the struggles that pushed my way with the support of everyone at NEOP. We love you, Desiree! Now we're more like brothers and sisters with this tight bond and everyone cares about each other. I understand why so many people are so passionate about this program because it does save people's lives because now I see what it has done to mine and to many others. I just want to tell you all to use the struggles you've been through, whether it's growing up without parents in your lives or coming from a low income family, Anything that has affected you in your lives, to just use it to keep going, not for anyone but yourself, because everyone in this room right now has the potential to succeed, and I believe in each and every one of you. We can't control what some of us have been through when we were younger, so we shouldn't blame, blame ourselves for it. EOP has changed millions of lives and will continue to change lives, and I will give this program my full support to continue for as long as it can. I just want these next three weeks to go by so quickly so I could just come back to see everyone because I love all of you guys. <laughs> Thank you. First, I would like to thank all Bridge Leaders, mentors, and professors for giving uh, me such an opportunity to be a part of an amazing program and community. I would also to like thank Jose Luis Vargas for being such an amazing director and also keeping this program on going. This was, this was a life changing for me because growing up, I was taught to judge people by their appearance and mostly on their skin color. When I, when I first entered Bridge, the first word that came out of my mouth was, damn. 
Damn was meant for fear. Growing up without parents around me was scary. I tend to believe what others were telling me because I did not have a role model or anyone to look up to. I was very frightened because most of, because most of my peers in Bridge were African American. I was very confused and frightened because my mentor Paul is African American, but yet he's really nice and well educated. I was taught that African American are the most dangerous people to be near. After the first few weeks gone by, I became very close to my peers because of my mentor Paul. Paul had helped me to open up to others and be open-minded. He spent a lot of time to preach me about how to open up to others. Bridge, Bridge had taught me to be to see a bigger picture in people rather than judging them by their skin color. Bridge also taught me the four golden the four golden words to success: respect, responsibility, attitude, and maturity. The golden words taught me to, taught me and changed me to become a better student, and also a better person. Throughout the six week, we became really we became a strong community. Bridge isn't just a community to me but there are a family to me. People here accept me for who I am rather than whom they wanted me to be. I have respect for each and every one of you here because most of you had a lot tougher than I did. But you managed to stay positive. Six weeks later, we're here, we made it. Now that we made it through summer phase of Bridge, let's continue working hard and during the, during the fall and show our, show our pride. There's a phrase that I like to say a lot. Bridge is like a pot of rice. We, we students are the rice, mentors are the water, professors are the pot, and the leaders are the fire. We need one another to cook a perfect pot of rice. Before I go, I have one question for all of you. Who are we? Thank you. <laughs>